In South Sudan today, due to the fighting and the insecurity all along the border, there's approximately 110,000 refugees that have fled into the South. There's another 700,000 black Africans that are being pushed out of Khartoum and being forced to come back to South Sudan, even though they were born and raised in Khartoum. When people move like that, when there's that kind of displacement, there's always normal kind of materials that they need. They need plastic sheeting, they need clean water, they need blankets, they need hygiene supplies, essential shelter uh, materials. Samaritan's Purse supplies these things to displace people and refugees. These are sort of common type of items, but if you have nothing, these are very vital to your survival. And uh, we are shipping tens of thousands of blankets, hundreds of thousands of bars of soap, cooking sets, household kits, hygiene supplies. These are the type of things that we are supplying to refugees and to displaced people all throughout the conflict areas of Sudan. There is hope in South Sudan. And that hope comes through Christ. I would ask that people watching pray for South Sudan, pray for peace, pray for prosperity. The people of South Sudan have a tremendous amount of problems. They don't have a very well-functioning judiciary. They don't have a good rule of law. They have trouble with their economy. They have trouble with corruption. God's word asks us to pray for the leaders of nations that are instilled. So I would ask that the viewers pray for South Sudan, pray for its leadership, but also pray for the leadership of the Islamic Republic of Sudan, as these two countries are again on the verge of war. And I would just ask uh, for prayer. I think that is the single most important thing that uh, can be offered on behalf of the people of South Sudan and Sudan today is prayer to God.